Alrighty, well today I'm going to be uh, replacing my hydraulic motor on my MTL XC7T brush cutter and uh, got the motor right here, had to go all the way up to uh, MTL about three and a half hour drive from where I'm at in here in Dothan up in Georgia Tallapoozy I think is how you say it <laughs> I, could be, I could be butchering that, but anyway uh, three hour, three and a half hour drive up there, three and a half hour drive back and yep ready to replace it all right well let's get started The other day, I did come out here and take this off and look at that motor. It is broken there. I'll show you a close-up of it when we get to it. Mm -hmm. That may not be tight. Hold that. Hmm.
Okay, got that all back together. I'm not sure about those two lines, if I put them back on there right, but I'll find out when I uh, turn on the brush cutter, I'll know which by which way the thing's turning. Okay, well, let me show you the motor. I got it taken apart, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, I got it apart. This right here is the real problem. As you can see, that is broken right there. Try to get it where you can see it real good. That's the only part that I see is broken. Everything else that, ouch, that I look at looks good. I mean, it's dirty now if I'm laying outside, but even this part looks good. Everything looks good. So just that one part, which is interesting. Oh, even down in there looks good. Try to show you that. So, interesting. Now, let's test out my machine.
that works again. All right, well, good deal. I got everything back together and running which is good happy about that i'm gonna hang on to the old motor for parts just in case something does happen to that one hopefully it won't be the same one <laughs> but anyway ready to rock and roll again glad about that all right well i'm gonna end this video right here you'll have a good one till the next one